Hi guys, Dave here. Welcome to the Chapman Guitar Stand at 2018 NAM. Um, I'm going to show you through some of the new bass guitars from Chapman Guitars. Uh, I'm going to start off with my signature. Uh, this is a 26 fret, fan fretted uh, bass. It's made of a, a vankel body and we've got a wenge and a vankel through neck. Uh, we've also got a tummy cut and an arch top. Kind of easier to see if you look at it that way. It's really good because it sits against your stomach and you get a lot of resonance so that when you're playing live and there's loads of rumble from a kick drum, you can still kind of feel when you're in tune. So there's lots of transition between the resonance of the body and your body uh, and that's really cool. So the fretboard on this currently is ebony and that's going to be uh, Wenge eventually um, because they, these are just prototypes so just a couple of little changes that we're going to make. The machine heads are going to be angled as well uh, and they're currently hip shot ultralights and I think they're going to move to Wilkinson. Um, we've got three band active EQ uh, with passive pickups. So we've got a bass, treble, a mid pop, then our pickup selection or blend, and then our overall volume. So that's pretty much the signature model. Um, we've got this in a regular sort of normal fretted four string as well. Uh, and then we've got the core range over here, I'll show you that. So the original core range was discontinued a few years ago because there was a uh, CITES law meant that we couldn't use the Babinga really anymore. Um, and so that's now changed to Walnut. Um, and we've just kind of modernized it, tweaked it, and upgraded it from what the original spec was. And uh, we can now get this in the five string version. So this is a Walnut body, uh, through neck again. Um, currently we've got a Walnut and Wengi neck and the Walnut wings are actually gonna change um, for something else. Not entirely sure just yet what that's going to be. Uh, possibly Power Faro. And um, this is completely passive, um, but we've got two humbuckers and we've got a core split as well. So you can either have both humbuckers on, move all the way over and have the neck humbucker, all the way back and have bridge humbucker, split and, uh, and have just one single coil all the way over to another single coil or both. So it's really versatile in terms of tone, completely passive, so you don't have to worry about batteries. Um, fingerboard on this is going to change as well, it's currently ebony and that's probably going to move to Power Ferro as well. Uh, same deal on the back, we've got hip shot ultralight tuners that may change to Wilkinson. And um, yeah, really solid affordable bass uh, from the Pro range and check them out. Mm -hmm.